So John Smith, when he first saw this area in 1614, said that this was the paradise of all these parts. And this harbor is what brought Boston prosperity. And then in the late 19th century, Boston improved the city by building a state-of-the-art sewage treatment plant. And the way the sewage treatment system worked was to pump the sewage from Boston out to the Harbor Islands, and then at high tide, let it go. This is in the 1880s. By the early 20th century, Boston Harbor was one of the most polluted harbors in the country. The fish died. The marine life died here. It was an open sewer. In the 1970s, Congress passed a Clean Water Act, which would give to states and cities money to help clean up dirty water. Boston, though, wasn't interested in this because they would also have to spend money on cleaning up dirty water. By this time, Boston was famous for dirty water. In fact, in the mid-1960s, a group from California called the Standells made up a whole song. I love that dirty water, Boston, you're my home. In 1988, a couple of different things were happening. One, the city of Quincy sued the sewage authority for the pollution of the beaches in Quincy to the south because the raw sewage from Boston Harbor was flowing out into Massachusetts Bay and then lining the beaches further south. So there's a federal lawsuit about the pollution of this body of water. Then in 1988, the governor of Massachusetts, Michael Dukakis, was running for president and he had a good environmental record. But if you have a good environmental record and the major body of water in your home state is the most polluted waterway in the country, your opponent is going to use this. And his opponent did. He came to Boston and filmed a commercial showing Boston Harbor and saying, now he wants to do for America what he has done for Massachusetts. Voters in other parts of the country did not want this to happen there. This is an embarrassment for Boston. The lawsuit precipitates action on one level, more importantly, or as importantly, Congressman Joe Moakley and Senator Ted Kennedy get together and realize we need to do something to clean up this harbor. So the lawsuit, Judge David Mazzone, requires that the Massachusetts Water Resources Authority take concrete steps to clean up the harbor. And behind me, you see the sewage treatment plant on Deer Island that takes the sewage from Boston and the surrounding communities and processes it into fertilizer pellets, and then the cleaned water is released through a pipeline about nine miles long into Cape Cod Bay or into Massachusetts Bay. And that water is more than 90% pure. So we've stopped dumping sewage into the harbor. That's step one. Step two is we take the sewage we otherwise would have been dumping and clean it up. This is a massively expensive undertaking, and it's thanks to Congressman Moakley and Senator Kennedy that Congress commits the funds to help us do this, and also thanks to the ratepayers in the metropolitan Boston area who do pay somewhat higher water bills, but it's well worth it. We now have one of the cleanest harbors in the country. You can see whales, porpoises, and you can eat the striped bass that you catch out here. So Boston Harbor goes from being one of the dirtiest harbors in the country and a state and national embarrassment to being one of the cleanest.